Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very very exciting video of Rational Algebraic Equations where we are going to solve one interesting equation x square plus 1 whole square over x times x plus 1 whole square equal to 9 over 2. So x cannot be 0 and x cannot be negative 1 because that will make denominator 0 so infinity. So it would be not in the domain. Now I will cross multiply the terms. So I will write 2 times x square plus 1 whole square equal to 9 times x x plus 1 whole square. I will use algebraic expansion or algebraic formula a plus b whole square. So it will become a square plus b square plus 2ab done. Now RHS right hand side 9x again a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now expand. So I will write 2x power 4 plus 2 plus 4x square that would be equal to 9x cube plus 18x square plus 9x. Take all the term to left. So equation will be there which is quartic. 2x power 4 minus 9x cube. 4x square minus 18. So it will be minus 14x square minus 9x plus 2 equal to 0. Now you can think about reciprocal equation. Why? See the coefficients. 9 and 9 and this is your symmetrical point. Okay. So we can think about division by x square as we have already seen x cannot be equal to 0. Okay. So let's divide this equation by x square. So let me write 2x square. Let me write here divide both sides by x square. So equation will become 2x square minus 9x minus 14 minus 9 by x plus 2 by x square. Now I am going to consider first and last term, second term and second last term altogether. So I will write 2 times in bracket x square plus 1 by x square from first and last term. Now I will take minus 9 common from second and second last term. I will be having x plus 1 by x in the bracket and minus 14 equal to 0. This is reciprocal equation. Now I will give substitution. So I will write here let x plus 1 over x equal to suppose t. So equation will become See this term is t. What would be right here? So I will write like this x plus 1 over x equal to t square both sides. So I will consider whole square. Now I will write a square that means x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equal to t square after doing squaring or after taking squaring both sides. So x square plus 1 by x square this value will be t square minus 2. So we will put here t square minus 2 and this term is t. So let's write quadratic or quadratic equation. Let's see. Quadratic will form. So I will write 2 times t square minus 2 then I will write minus 90 minus 14 equal to 0. Let's expand it to 2t square minus 90 minus 4 minus 14 minus 18 equal to 0. Okay. Now we'll be solving this quadratic equation using formula you can solve. So let me write t equal to minus b. So 9 plus minus square root of b square minus 9 square 81 
minus 4 AC. So it will come out plus 144 divided by 2A so forth. Now 144 plus 81. This is 225 divided by 4. Now we know that the square root of 225 is 15 divided by 4. So if I will consider 9 plus 15, so 24 over 4, 6. 9 minus 15, so it will become minus 6 over 4, so minus 3 by 2. So these are two t values. Now remember what was t? t was our substitution that was x plus 1 over x. Okay, now we will solve for both t values. So let me consider here, I will write x plus 1 over x, let me write here equal to 6, the very first value of t. Multiply both sides by x and take all the terms to left hand side. So it will give us x square minus 6x plus 1 equal to 0. Okay. Now let's apply quadratic formula again. Minus b plus minus under the root b square. So 36 minus 4ac. So minus 4 divided by 2. So this will become 6 plus minus root 32 which is 16 times 2. So I can write 4 root 2 over 2. In next step I will write x value directly 3 plus minus 2 root 2. This is our x value. Okay. Now we will solve second equation. So second equation is for t equal to minus 3 by 2. So I will consider x plus 1 over x equal to minus 3 by 2. First, let's multiply both sides with 2 or simply multiply by 2x. So let me write here 2 times x. x plus 1 by x. 2 times x minus 3 by 2. So let's expand. 2x square plus 2 equal to minus 3x or 2x square plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay, this is our quadratic equation. Now I will use again quadratic formula. I will get my answer x is equal to minus b, so minus 3 plus minus square root of b square, so 9 minus 4ac, so 16 over 2a, so 4. So this will give us minus 3 and this is minus 7. So let me write plus minus i root 7 over 4. So if I will write my final answer, because these are two complex roots and earlier we have calculated two real roots. So let me write all together. x is equal to 3 plus minus 2 root 2. Two real solutions. And two imaginary. Minus 3 plus minus i root 7 over 4. Okay. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.